Uh, Joey, as your Moirail, uh, 2020, let's go. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to more Hive Swap Act 2. We've made it all the way to the Blue Blood car, but then we got stopped before we could reach to the High Blood car, which many of you would probably say, oh, yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. So, basically, the Blue Bloods on this, like, car, specifically the Indigo Bloods, uh, minus Zebra, because <laughs> we got him off the train, uh, they are saying that we need to prove ourselves that we are so freaking high cultured <laughs> we, we're so well cultured uh by sh basic i'm guessing by proving to gallic that we know stuff about literature showing amesia that we know stuff about art and showing nike that we can probably wrestle a like freaking uh muscle beast but uh, first things first. So Gallic wants us to like have like some kind of literature savvy sense of things. So, I mean, I think Remele in the Cerulean car would probably have something to say about that, because she's supposedly like this highbrow, like up there kind of person. Hi, Remele. Can you help us? Hi. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. But is there any chance you know where we could find some liter literary text on this train? We're trying to impress some indigo bloods. I can't help you with that. Though I am a very prolific writer, I doubt my I doubt a fancy blue blood will find any of my text literary. Why not? Transformative works are spat upon by the blue blood elite. Oh, your fanfics. You'll have to look elsewhere to find your respectable literature. Hmm. Elward, you got anything? Hey, um, we could use some help. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Joey, what do you need? This is totally dumb, but the Blue Bloods upstairs want us to bring them a piece of literature to prove our cultural merit. Like a book? Yeah, or any hard-hitting piece of writing. Wow, that is stupid. I know, right? I gotta tell you, I don't got anything literary on me at the moment. Sorry. <laughs> okay, one last time. We'll check with the last Cerulean on here. Hi, Malik. One of the best boys. No, for no particular reason. None at all. What are you talking about? Jeez. <laughs> hey, you back. Yeah. Should I have known this was- I should have known this was gonna be weird and mundanely frustrating as the last three cars. The people upstairs won't let us pass until we pass some cultural test that I'm pretty sure they just made up on the spot. Heh, <laughs> that is classic indigo. The guy up there with the glasses wants us to bring him some cultured literature. Do you have anything like that lying around? I can find you something. Really? That was easier than I thought it would be. For sure. I'll find you something super rare. It'll blow that blowhard's mind. Just one thing first. Yeah, I figured there'd be one. Or two, or five. A bunch of my devices died hours ago. If you can find a way to charge them, I'll find you something radical. What do you say? Uh, sure. Sure! Rad, let me know when you get it done. Okay. This isn't yours to use. Talk. Let's get to the control room. Well, let's see. I'm guessing if we're charging something, we want something with a lot of power. So I'm su assuming if we go to the yellow blood car and we talk to Kuprum, well, that'll just fix a lot of things. Yo, Kuprum! What up, boy? Curse you, Wanshi, you little brat. <laughs> Wanshi, you... <sighs> man, this game made me, like, think terrible things about Branya, terrible things about Wanshi, terrible things about Tizius. Well, Tagora I already knew was kind of a, like a shark, but still... Mm, not good. Not good, bro. Hi, you guys. Kuprum! Talky talky. You want a literature? Oh yeah, for sure. We'll hook you up. Lol, lol, lol. Yeah, check this out. 
Oh, um, Joey, don't look at anything they show you! No, I meant this. Hey, remember me? No, the void rots my brain. Same as my body. Really? No, idiot. Of course, I remember. Neatest, neatiest rusty couple on the train. We can't really argue with that. The couple on the train. I still ship it, kinda. Why are you here again? I'm, I'm needy, remember? I need something. Can you charge these devices? Show me. This isn't rusty tech. You stole this. No, I didn't. Trashing mercenaries, soliciting high bloods, now theft? I'm impressed. Follicle GTFO for a second. Whoa! Right onto Zephros's face. Ah! Are you okay? I think so. What did she feel like? Uh, food poisoning. <laughs> and you feel like siphoning off a block of wood. Are you sure you're even alive? I've had better days. <laughs> okay, well at least everything's charged. Okay, we go bye. Ta-ta, everyone. I'll see you all in therapy. I like how all these train cars just basically sound the same but have different instrumentations. Like they could all belong to like one suite of some kind. Anyway, to Malik. I just... Hey, Malik. Like I said, hook me up. I'll get you hooked up. Yep. Any luck? I already got a PDF ready to go. This is super exclusive. It wasn't easy to find. Yeah, here you go. Sweet. Check your tablet. Already sent. Oh. Thank you. Wow, this is long. Favorite for a fa- No favor for a favor. Thank you, Malik. One best boys. Let's go. Let's talk to Gallic, our husbando, again. Ooh, just a bit- I just was reminded of this. Bingo card. Here's what my bingo card is looking like right now. I'm just saying I am the closest I've ever gotten to a bingo. Like, I was never able to get this close with Act 1. If they just make one Undertale reference, I got a bingo, and I'll be super duper happy. The rest of them are all also, like, two blocks away. So I'm actually really excited to see if we can get there. Anyway, enough talking, let's get back to this. Hello, Gallic, my good man. Here you go. What, what, what is this? Intellectually and artistically valuable literature. Sigh. Unless the dictatorship of intel intelligence Oh, intelligenista is inaugurated. Superior persons must forever be in the mercy of ignorancia. See Plasto's The Republican. <laughs> you mean, like, Plato's Republican? And, okay, then. S let me take a look. Hmm. Interesting. More than interesting. Fascinating. An observer may perhaps wonder at the lightning rapidity of my assessment of the soist distant literary production. He, she, or it would do well to understand that I am a graduate cum, of, no, cum laude of the Royal Academy of Accelerated Hyperspeed Turbo Reading. Copyright all rights reserved. Any similarity in reading speed produced by this program to any other velocity whatsoever is strictly coincidental and probably a delusion on the part of the officious intermeddler who claims to have observed it. I think he's getting it. Yeah. And where, may I ask, did you two rather exquisite individuals get this somewhat sophisticated work of political literature? A troll of sensibility can only hope that a, civil, that a cultivated observer or some future reader perusing the records of my remarks, which will doubtless be preserved for posterity, may appreciate the fine blade of wit of which I mobilize against my intru 
interlocutors. In the present case, the razor does no harm, and the edge is turned aside on the stone blocks of ignorance and unsophistication against which I thrust. Thus, does not obtuseness project, protect the obtuse against the finest weapons of the astute? We got it from... We can't tell him. It has all the stuff in it, like overthrowing and rebelling stuff. Oh, right. I'm sorry, we can't disclose that. That's a pity. I'd love to get a hold of whoever wrote this. Oh, uh, why? To congratulate them, of course. To see what I could do to support their literary car career. Bring them to the attention of editors and critics. Fet them and show shower them with the honor with honors. This is truly intellectually and artistically valuable piece of literature, subverting all our preconceptions. It plays with form and call into our and to call into question our deepest perceptions and ideas. Okay, destructing narrative conventions to strike the very heart of a shared can canonical shibboleths in order to capsize our customs and habits of thought and our jaded practice of culture. Oh yes, exactly. The profundity of vision, the penetration of analysis on every page of this masterful work contributes more to the understanding of our small place in the universe than the whole libraries of conventional scholarship, opening up new vistas of dialectical possibility, eschewing the tired usages of, ivory, of the ivory tower, but circumventing at the same time the dreariness of iconoclasm for its own sake, its love lifting and at the same time incendiary critique of things as they are, comes as a breath of fresh air to the scholar who has labored long under the yoke of intellectual orthodoxy. I agree. I am indebted to you, yes, even to you, unwashed and untutored as you are, but does not wisdom often come out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, for providing me with this heady glimpse of the possibilities of a philosophy outside the tired, cramped bounds of the of obsolete doctrine and the tr trodden paths that have been worn intellectual ruts in the fabric of scholarship leading to the same doors, to the same rooms with their paltry intellectual fare, while all the time there have been a feast waiting on the hungry scholar just around the corner. I cannot... Sh I, I am not sure how I, can how I can repay you. Oh, well, you could... No, thanks can... No, thanks can express the profound debt I feel to you, too, small-minded and simple as you are. But does not intellectual modesty often point this w the way for having brought me this feast of reason and flow of soul? Well, ac actually... I am simply overwhelmed with the richness of the spirit you too, unprepossessing and stunted though your minds may be, but even a humble vessel can hold fine wine. Have given me. I can barely... Well, you can let us go! What? Remember you said if we brought you some intellectually and artistically valuable literature, you'd let us go to the next car? Oh, yes. Yes, I do remember. Inconsequential figures such as yourselves often don't imprint themselves deeply on my memory, but you have done me such a service, and through me humanity troll you mean troll manity of course be my guests proceed on your way with all speed and my benedictions yay just a sec manifesto good job with that literature gala can be so picky low bloods usually have terrible taste but you guys really have some cultural in your culture in your veins wow thanks I bet you're an amazing artist. I would love to see some of your stuff one day. Actually, no day like today. Oh boy. That looked really fun. So I think I want to play too. Bring me one piece of art if you want to pass. Wait, again? We already proved we know culture and stuff. Yeah, but you played with Gallic. You played with Gallic, but I don't care about books. I want to see art. Ugh, this is so... Gallic, can you please tell her we already passed your test? Hmm? Oh, this has absolutely nothing to do with me. Also, I don't care. Joey, we should just do what she wants. You're never gonna argue a blue blood down. Ugh, fine. One piece of fine art coming up. Well, I think we know where this is going. And man, my neighbor has a rooster. And I don't know if- you, I don't think you guys can hear it, but I certainly can, even with the audio of the video game going. 
At least it's not two o'clock in the morning and three o'clock in the morning and four o'clock in the morning, like that rooster's gotten into the habit of doing. <laughs> Hi, Remelay. Will you do this for us now? Hey, you're an artist, right? Yes, I am an artist. Great. Do you think you could do, like, a painting or some kind of art for us? We have to prove that we can recognize true art to those guys upstairs. And since you're such a good artiste, maybe you could help us? Are you asking me to work for exposure? Yeah, but the exposure is those guys upstairs who, um, look down on real art of the people. Hmm, compelling. I would love to rub my work in the faces of the elite. I'll do it. But I will need raw materials. And a reference piece. My specialty is artistic mimicry. Like a forgery. She is a pirate. Original work is overrated. Sure. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm probably stupid for not knowing this, but uh... What are raw materials exactly? Anything disgusting, really. True art is ugly and sopping with the sweat and tears of the creator. Gross. Where are we supposed to find something like that? You might want to go where people are raw and real and gross. I'm sure you know what kind of people I mean. Seeing as you're one of them. <laughs> Hey, that was rude. <laughs> it's a good thing. I doubt that very much, but let's go to the rusty car. Hmm. Okay, might as well start down here. We're looking for materials to make art, like raw materials. What the heck does that mean? We're not exactly sure, just some materials for making some art the way an artist does. Well, this garbage is pretty raw. It was about- I was about to throw it off the side of the train. But you can have it. Oh, that's sure an idea, I guess. We'll take it. I guess it couldn't hurt to try. Joey, I think it's safe to assume at this point that anything can hurt. Yeah, I guess even the ticket machine stabbed me. Fascinating. Do you want this garbage or not? Yeah, thanks. Wow, this smells terrible. It's garbage. What do you want from me? Anybody else got anything? Who? you guys smell worse than the sewers I pull my cured meats out of. Maybe we just totally ruined our chances getting anything else. That's okay. Let's just go down the list. Hi, Vicaray. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Sorry, we haven't found anyone with Lucis medicine yet. Phew, y'all smell like something the Lucis dragged in. Yep, okay, I guess we're not talking to anybody else on this train until we get back to Remelay. Okay, let's go. Here you go, you stinker. Though, Bloods, I can't help but think that you followed my instructions and returned with something raw. It doesn't get any rawer than this. And if it does, we really don't want to know about it, thanks. Can you work with this? I know it's really smelly. Are you kidding me? You think I'm some sort of amateur? This is nothing compared to the suffrage I've endured for my career. Let's make some art. Oh, jeez. Oh, the sounds. Yeah, in the name of the moon, I will punish you. Nice art. Here you go, check this out. Wow. Wow. This is... Actually, pretty cool. Did you really use that garbage to make this? I told you I was good. In the name of the moon. All the world's impressed by such a beautiful masterpiece. Okay, Sailor Moon, let's go. Okay, you. Here you go, Amazia. Wow, what is that? Our art. Pretty cool, right? The colors are incredible. It's so... Raw? Exactly. 
It smells terrible, and I want you to take it away from me as soon as possible. But good job, test cleared. I knew you guys had it in you. All right, both tests passed, so now we can... Not so fast, sister. Thought so. Hi, Nike. Oh, boy. You may have impressed the two pipsqueaks, but do you really think you could possibly stand up to the might of me, Nike Mula, Infinite time champion of Alternian muscular theater. <laughs> Don't make me effing laugh. <laughs> Sister, these little games these two low-weight marks have sent you on are nothing compared to the test of metal and might you'll have to pass to prove yourself to me, Grand Champion Nike Mula. It's time for you to show me your strength in the only arena that really matters. Muscular theater. Come on. <laughs> Me and Gallic both gotta play our games. It's only fair that Nike has her turn, too. Indeed, muscular theater is the is one of the most refined arts, so it would be remiss to allow you to pass without verifying that you properly appreciate its value. And without a honed physique and brawling prowess, it's like you've been trounced by a high you'd be high, trounced by a high blood anyway. They can be capricious sorts, never know when an attack is around the corner. Well, you keep on, like, you know, <laughs> keep on, you know, Chekhov's gunning that whole thing. I'm terrified what's going to happen when we reach the high blood car. <laughs> Good grief. Okay, so what do we have to do? You may pass if, if and only if, you can best me in a test of muscular prowess. At first, I thought she was kind of scary, but longer this goes on, the more ridiculous it gets. No comment. What are you two maggots whispering about? Oh, nothing. So I take it we've I've got to, like, wrestle you? That is an excessively erudite way of putting it, but yes. There is, n there is no such thing as excessively erudite, Nike. Shut the hell up. Lol. Now, sister, be gone. I must commence my training for our tremendous clash. All right, then. Okay, you see, the thing about muscular theater is, well, it's less about the muscle than the theater, so... Hi, I know wrestling is fake, Zephros. <gasps> we, we don't use that word, Joey. Yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is, it's not actually going to be a matter of beating her in a test of strength. She's just saying that as part of the performance. I think this is pretty safe to say that it's not going to be possible anyway. Yeah. We just have to put on a good enough show. If we can do that, even if we lose, we win. Whatever happens, it just has to be a good story. I know a thing or two about performing. One of the most important things you've got to think about in any recital is the wardrobe, right? Yeah. Do you have anything on you that could spruce up my outfit a little? Uh, muscular theater has a little bit of higher standard for costume than a bit of sprucing. We need to have, like, a concept. Oof. Well, I guess we'd better go see if someone can help us out, huh? Okay, so who do we know? Well, I'm guessing we would start with... Let's see. The only other blue blood left. Well, only cerulean blood left in the car. Uh, besides Amesia. Uh, I'm not going... Not, not Amesia. Ardata. Ardata, I'm terrified of her. I'm terrified of most cerulean blood women. So let's see. Hi again. You really can't get enough, can you? Running back and forth. Fetch quest, fetch quest. You two are so busy. We're not doing it because we... Nope, this is Zephyrus. We're not doing it because we want to. The blue blood still won't let us through. You seriously haven't tried to just blow past them yet? You think we should try that? Joey, no. Might be interesting. Joey, please. Chill, kid. I'm joking. What do you guys need? We're supposed to wrestle one of them and we need a costume. Dang, which one are you? Me, I guess. 
Zephros is probably better at sports, but he's injured. So can you help us? Hmm, I might have something for you. Gotta make another deal on Forge, which I can't have people going around thinking I give out stuff for free. Even to very cute lowbloods. <laughs> what do you want? What do you got? You want some of my stuff? Pay you back later. How about, uh... Well, this is kind of terrifying. If I say pay you back later, she's probably gonna be like, mm, that's not gonna fly. I'll try it anyway. How about an IOU? A what now? You know, an IOU. IOU when? <laughs> you, I know what it is. I'm just wondering what made you take me for some kind of chump. I'm running a business here. I can't afford to make bad investment decisions. Okay, you want some of my stuff? Or how about, uh... How about, uh... Joey, she likes you. Yeah, she likes being a jerk to me. No, I mean, she's into you. Maybe you should ask her out? What? Blue Bloods get really territorial about the trolls in their quadrants. So if she feels protective of you, she'll help us. But, but, she's a girl? And so? And I'm also a girl. Is it a problem for you that she's a girl? I don't get it. I, I don't, I, um, um. Okay, well, obviously you don't really have to go out with her. Just make her think you want to. Is it really a good idea to lie to a high blood? Well, a cerulean isn't a high blood, but... And how do we even know that she's really, you know, like that? Her name is Gay Girl L Word. <laughs> Gay girl, lesbian. <laughs> uh, I just don't think I can do this. Uh, sorry. Okay. Hey, what are you two weirdos whispering about over there? It's creeping me out. Nothing. So you want some of my stuff? Here, I've got... Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm not doing any shady deals. I thought you were all about shady deals. Yeah, on my terms, but I've been burned before, okay? I don't even know what any of that stuff is. It's the only stuff I have, though. I don't have any money. Do we have any money? Nope. Well, then. I guess you'll have to come up with something better. I'll get back to you on that. Don't wait too long. This offer won't last. Okay. Maybe... Okay, I'm terrified to do this, but hi, our daughter. <laughs> Hello, lowbloods. Your courage does you credit. Yep, we got extra credit. What would, you, would you happen to know anything that Elward might like? Oh, certainly. Just come along with me into my room. I'll have so many things she would like. Uh, I don't want to. I'm scared. Uh, no. <laughs> Suit yourself. I am terrified of Artana so freaking much. I don't want to go into her room. Anything but that. Uh, I mean, if we got a game over, it would probably spit us back out here. But I'm still not doing that. Okay. Okay. Let's find out what happens when you go into our daughter's room. It probably ends up with us dying. Let's go. Okay, my room is full of things that would please a fickle cerulean. All right, sounds legit. Show me the way. Uh, Joey, I don't know if... Shh. <laughs> hey, uh, Joey. No, hey, Joey. Tough girl, baby. What the heck are you doing? Well, since you can't help us, I'm just going with someone who can. Uh, Joey. Uh, I'm not going to be responsible for this. <laughs> Never fear. I'll be sure to return her to you. Don't fret. Oh yeah, I'm sure. But I prefer her with all her pieces attached. Also, Elward is shorter than our daughter. <laughs> That's so crazy to me. I always thought it would be the other way around. Girl, come see me. 
okay, maybe that was the way to go. She's like, girl, don't you dare. <laughs> you know what she does to people? I know what she does to people. <clears throat> Man, you really think anybody who dresses like that has your best interest at heart? I do if my best interest involves getting a costume. Crap, good grief. Come back here if it's this or you turning yourself over into a spider, over to spider girl there, I'll give you the costume. I'm not going to literally let you get yourself killed over a pirate costume. You have a pirate costume. Of course you do. You're not Vriska. Okay, pirate costume. That's what I got, kids. Why do you just have a pirate costume? She's not Vriska. Do I pay you to ask stupid questions? You don't pay me to do anything. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. We got, we'll get it back to you as soon as we can. Don't bother. I got a bunch. You got a bunch of pirate costumes on this train? Yeah. Also, I just noticed that the designs on the seats there are scorpions. Yee. Vriskaception. Anyway. Yeah. Why? I thought we'd established I wasn't holding a press conference on the pirate gear. Here, try this on. Okay. Look at me, I'm a pirate! <laughs> oh yeah, looks great, babe. You're gonna tear it up in the muscle square. Great, thanks. Well, that's a thing that just happened. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. I bet if we went there earlier, we would have totally become spider chow. Let's go. Well, actually, she has a tick as a Lucis. So can we, uh, can we do this now? Tch, you really think you're ready to face me in Muscle Square? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm just going to change into my, your battle raiments, my battle raiments. And then I'm gonna trounce you. Ha! <laughs> Bring it on, sister. Ahem, and where do you intend for this epic showdown to take place? Because it certainly isn't going to be the drawing room. A true warrior fights in the ring! Yes, yes, you're right, but we don't have a ring here, Mula. I believe they had plans to build one, but the lack of adequate funding necessitated it to be scrapped. In absence of a ring, a true warrior makes do. Stand up and face me, sister. Here we go. Do, 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 animation. Oh, she punched you in the face. <laughs> Joey, Joey, wake up. Knockout 2.0. Oh, what just... Oh, thank goodness you're alive. Where, what happened? Wow, victorious again. Oh, I was wrestling, and I lost. Oof, does my head hurt? I guess we failed the test. I... Failed? <laughs> no, sister. That was tremendous. I... What? My body is surging with adrenaline. My muscles bursting. What a contest. What stirring theater. Wah-ha-ha. <laughs> I, uh, entertained you enough to pass by getting punched in the face and passing out immediately? Pfft. Simple girl, there can be no winner without a loser. The strong cannot rule without someone weak to subjugate. Your piteous defeat has solidified my iron grasp on the belt. Uh, okay, cool. You are a sister of culture, after all. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> It seems then that you've passed all our tests, low blood. Yay! Congratula congrats! Does this mean we can pass up to the next train now? Go ahead, low bloods. Your fate now rests in the hands of the jesters. Sounds. sounds great. I think I'll just save right now. Aight, right, dog, let's go. Bye, everyone. I'll see you all in therapy if I survive. And by that, I mean physical therapy. Oh, look at that. That's gross. I'm terrified that we're going to run into Lanera's dead, b massacred body. Hmm. 
What are you thinking about? Uh, how did you know I was thinking? Well, aren't people always thinking? That's how brains work. Oh, right. Um, well, my thought wasn't very exciting. I think I've had enough excitement for one day, to be honest. It's Alternia- Is Alternia always like this? Um, yes, unfortunately. But not usually all at once. You're definitely getting an expedited tour of all our planet's problems. <laughs> you might even call this experience an illustrative vertical slice of the Hema Spectrum's class tensions. The experience has definitely been um, tense. That's exactly what I was thinking about. I've never been around blue bloods like that before. I mean, I see them in line at the nutritional requisition market sometimes, but I usually try not to get their attention. <laughs> Now I'm not sure it matters if they pay attention to me or not. They live in a completely different world than I do, don't they? Yeah, I got that impression too. So now I'm wondering... Oh no, maybe I shouldn't say it. Zephros, it's fine, I asked. Okay, well, Domic... Ugh. Wait, Joey, I know you think he's bad, but Domic is a true revolutionary. He has a master plan to end the Hema Spectrum and free us low bloods from our metaphorical chains. Which she says are the only things we have to lose. What exactly is the master plan? Um, I actually have no idea. <laughs> Domic says I wouldn't be able to understand it even if he explained it. He's the theory guy. I'm supposed to focus on praxis. Praxis. But come to think of it, he doesn't let me do much of that either. What does he let you do? <laughs> Let's not get into that right now. But trust me, Joey, Domic is just trying to protect me. He wants to protect me so much, it's what's inspired him to destroy the Hemo Spectrum. Uh huh. And he says we can do it peacefully, too. That if we make common cause with high bloods against the injustices of the Empire, we can create a new order where everyone is equal. But after talking all those blue bloods, if I don't have anything to lose by overturning the existing order except my fake chains, but high bloods have everything to lose by giving me more rights, what possible common cause could we have? It seems like the more privilege you have, the more blind you are to the existing flaws in the system, because they aren't really flaws if you're benefiting from them, right? The Hemo Spectrum is structured so that the perks given to every caste are brutally extracted from those beneath them. Sea Dwellers don't have to oppress Lowbloods directly if they have teals like Stelsa running the bureaucracy for them. It's easy for me to want to burn the whole system down because I live at the bottom, but the view is probably pretty different from the top. A high blood would have more to gain by appeasing members of the caste above than they would ever uniting with us against the system. I don't know, I'm probably thinking above my intellectual weight class right now. <laughs> Who wrote this? Was it Aisha? This is why Domic is the theory guy. It's only been half a day since I left my hive and I already have no idea what to think anymore. Is that a Moirail thing? Huh? That you need Domic to tell you what to think. Um. Well, every relationship is different. Zephros, what do you think? I I just said I don't know yet. Domic would say, Okay, I, how about this, Zephros? I'll tell you what I think. Really? Yeah. I think that everything we've seen today would take everyone a while to process. So it's okay if you don't know how to feel about it just yet. You can come up with your own political opinions. You don't have to copy everything Domek says. You don't have to listen to what the writers of Homestuck have to say. You are your own freaking being. Thank you. Thank you, Hive Swap. Moving on. Hmm. Yeah, okay, into the dreaded purple blood car. I'm terrified of the high... I, I love the high bloods, but I'm also terrified of the high bloods. I remember the bad route from Chow's... Yeah, Chow's uh, freaking thing. What am I hearing? 
It's that like little clap noise. You realize that isn't actually a big clown that's looking at you from those eyes, but you sure don't like looking at them. Look. That's probably a real skull. You've accepted a couple things in your life as currently stands, and one of those things is that this is definitely an elevator made out of bones. Well, is there anything else I can click on besides that? Nope, looks like we're going to the elevator. Here we go. Oh, what? Excuse me. 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 What? My baby is here? Are we talking to this? Are we talking to this clown first? Or are we talking to Chow? Uh... Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, he's so small and cute. Yes, and he should be dead. What's he doing here? He's dead. Canonically, he's dead. This takes after... This happens after Pester Quest, right? Well, Friend Sim and Pester Quest, right? Well, not Pester Quest, really, but... But what? Okay. Uh... Talk? Hi, Karako. Honk! Oh, hi! What's your name? Honk, honk! Uh, I'm sorry. I don't think I speak that language. Clown language, is that a thing? I don't think so. Well, I'm Joey and this is Zephros. Nice to meet you. Honk! Oh yeah, you've got a necklace. Karako, is that your name? Honk! Nice to meet you. Honk, honk! Yeah. Okay, let's talk to Chow. What is on... Oh! That's her hair. You thought it was some kind of fuzzy animal that had across her back. You can't imagine what pain that must be to wash. Okay, Chow's voice. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that what we've got here. Two little farm fresh rusties primed for the picking. You children even know where you're at. The high blood car? <laughs> so you ain't lost. Except maybe ex existentially and spiritually. You come here to listen to the good word. Good, good word? The gospel of the clowns. Praise be the clown messiahs. Just that glorious word of our mirthful messiahs. Those joyful jesters what's taught us that this world is just a phantom. A phantom. That's right, little darling. The phantom shadows of a single world turn into dust in our claws before the true becoming. They ain't wrong. They ain't wrong. Oh, is this is this the church a church thing? A church thing, she says. You never get school fed, my baby bronze. I guess I never really paid attention. <laughs> That's the true way of it. Never had the think pan for the politics of figuring. And my best blue girl tells me I don't know bulge from a horn tip when it comes to most things. Amesia is, is, your, is your best friend, but not your Moirel because she's too young for that. She and I are on our way to a party at the end of the line seeing as I'm half a peregrine away from exile. Exile? What you were saying before. Is this a church? Really? Anywhere can be a church if your pusher stays open, little one. I love Chow. So. So. That's how it's pronounced, right? I know it's supposed to be pronounced the same as can, the French word for can can, and you know how terrible I am at French. Holla. Anyway. This place of mirthful particu in particular. Take a knee and I'll school you all on the things you can't learn elsewhere. This all sounds really interesting. I would love to hear all about it, maybe later? Is that right? We'll do as you must. Now, tell can I talk to you about the other thing? Don't be a stranger, little one. Okay, I guess I can't talk anything else. Okay, bye. And it's Barzum and Basil. 
I, I don't I can't pronounce their names. I'm terrible at that. They look like they might be twins, but it's hard to tell which hard to tell with all that makeup. Oh wow, and they have the grand high blood and they got all the little gamsy like fairy clowns and they got the cherub stuff all around. Oh wow. What is the skull for? Anyway, bars and basily. I forget which one's which. <laughs> I know one's supposed to be like a girl, one's supposed to be a boy, but I don't remember which one's which. Okay. I think Barzum is the girl. So I'll go with that. Hey. What's this? I'm not sure, Basily. I, but I think it's something that doesn't belong. Uh, uh, you don't look like high bloods. And this is the high blood car. Yeah, Barzum, why are they here? No idea. We could always ask them. Or it might be more fun to guess. Are you lost, pretty little Bobbeasts? Oh, well. How are you guys doing that? Doing what? Being so handsome, intelligent, and charming? Being the best and most perfect friends? The kind you always wanted? No, I mean, I'm sure you really are good friends, but I mean, meant the finishing each other's sandwiches like you've been, like you rehearsed it before. Maybe we did. Maybe we just know you. So well. We've never met before. Or have we? Maybe we met in a dream somewhere. Or maybe she's the main character, like the hype, like the friend Sim. <laughs> mm. That's great. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is kind of freaking me out. I told you. Don't worry. There's no magic trick involved. We just share everything. Okay. Great, I really should be over stuff being weird by now, but geez, two small clowns reading each other's minds is still kind of unsettling. Let's just go, Joey. Bye. Bye. Bye, you guys. Can I take a look at this? Look. You don't know who that is, and you don't want to know. They can stay in that picture. Thank you very much. Wait, I saw a take option. Look. Never been in a church before, but you've seen them in movies and on TV, and you're pretty sure they don't look anything like that. Can I touch it? You probably shouldn't mess with anything here. You might cast some sort of magic spell. Also be rude to just start touching their stuff. Hmm. I'm thinking... Uh, Chow talking about, uh... The whole, like, clown religion about basically being about spurb. Uh, I'm gonna count that as B4. So now we're only, t like, uh, one away on this one and two away on the other. Cool. Great. Uh, I'm scared, but I'm gonna try to take it. You don't want that. Uh, but I want the, I want the grand high blood on my wall. No, I don't. I really don't. Grand high blood on my wall is like the last thing I want. Okay, it looks like we're. Oh, I can click on something. What am I. What can I click on? <gasps> I guess they added to the ambience. Unfortunately, the ambience is evil church in hell. Yep, yep, and there's Marvis. And he's tipping his hat to us. I guess we're gonna. It's Marvis! Finally someone on your side. Clown class. Oh gosh, that's scary text. Okay. Hey, you made it, hot skillet. Hot skillet? Not too keen on that one, huh? It's interesting, for sure. <laughs> I've been on the edge of my seat waiting for you two to get here, Joe. I'm real excited to see how you do. Do at what? 
The engine car is right on through this door right here. Cool. Can you let us through? I sure can. Zephros is not looking at us. Um, Joey. The clowns are here. Hey, hey, the clowns are here. Do -do 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 -do. Send in the clowns. Now that's a sad song. This is scary. Um, hi, guys. These are my buddies. Ciao. Hey. Bosom Baisley. <laughs> and Garako. Honk. What's going on? Now I sure want you to, I want to see you get through to where you want to go wanting to be, Joe. I can read. But nothing is ever quite that simple, you feel me? I feel you. This here door don't open for just anybody. It doesn't? You see. I want to play a game! No! <laughs> oh gosh, I didn't put any Saw references on here. Anybody got Saw? Anybody? I'm scared though. Okay. <laughs> Honk! What kind of game? The Saw variety? It's real simple, Joe. I'm gonna spin this wheel right here on this door. And whatever color it lands on, that's the color of troll I want you to kill. You want me to kill someone? Brother! What? What? Kill? What do you mean? Please tell me you're joking. Clowns are never joking when it comes to murder. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do great, Joe. Now step back. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you waited for. Ah, ah, ah. There even the dust is sweat smoking through the floor. Look at him dance. Look at him go. I'm terrified out of my mind. Please, no. Don't let me kill anybody. I don't want to be responsible for that. Dude, I don't want to be responsible for that. Dude, I don't want to be responsible for this. Just, just let us... Whoa, it's... Someone's jerking this camera around. Someone's using their After Effects budget wisely. And it stopped. Oh! Honk. Do, 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 do. Uh-oh. Does- is it different for everyone? Or not? Oh, yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow! How exciting. Then that settles it. Your first target is a yellow blood. You go and take out one, bring me back proof of your kill. I, 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 I... Joey, this is what I've been telling you. This is how the High Bloods operate. The only thing we can do to get through is what they want us to do. So we have to do it. Oh, you real talkative all of a sudden, buddy. But you right. Hey, chin up, Joe. I'm sure you'll do great. Uh. I can't just kill a person. Why? No. Okay, Basley. Why not? It's so much fun. First time for everything, but I'm sure you'll crush it if you put your mind to it. I, I'm not. I can't. Marvis, you said this one will be fun. Hmm. Why don't you just play with a scared little Rusty till my pal Joe is done? Oh, what? Really? Ah, oh, shucks, Marvis, you're a real one. No, 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 Hey, 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 hey. Oh, ciao. Stop it. Oh, gosh. She has the lizard brain. Sh don't let her do that. Let him go. Nah. <laughs> She's angry now. Ah, 
drunk. Marvis, she's, she's hurting him. You have to do something. She... If you want your buddy back, you better hurry up and get the job done, you hear me? Uh, uh, I... Hey, yo, hurry along now. See you soon. And he's no longer in my party. Oh, that's great. Ah. You guys all suck. Like, marvelously so. Jeez, guys. Ah. Really? Really? I mean, I have a way to go around this. I already have the thought in mind. You don't need an actual body, right? Marvis, please, let Zephros go. I told you, Joe, feed the wheel and well, let your boy go free. I thought you weren't like this. I thought you were a nice person. Zephros told me you were bad and I didn't believe him. Bad? I don't think I'm that bad. This is just a game, Joe. How is killing somebody a game to you? I can't, I can't do this. Then I guess you got a problem, huh? <sighs> Freaking clowns. Talk to the twins. What's wrong? Why the long face? She looks so sad, Barzum. She should try to smile more, Basily. Smile, sweetie. I don't have time to deal with your ridiculous nonsense right now. My only friend here has been taken captive by a huge clown monster, so unless you're planning to help, you can just shut the heck up right now. Oh, we'll help you. Oh, what are you going to do? Finish my sentences now? Oh, she's fiery. She's an angry. Maybe she should calm down before things get messy. Before she does things she can't take back. You don't want to get on Chao's bad side, little girl. She's very nice. Very, very nice. Even her bad side is nice. And very, very bad. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Ah, oh, forget it. Karko, use your god powers. Honk! Yeah, you're helpful. Let's talk to Chow. <clears throat> hey, let go of him. This isn't funny. <laughs> Nobody's laughing, darling. You are. Well, you got me there. But you still best simmer down before your little bitty pusher explodes. Take a page out of your pretty pet. He knows when to go limp and play dead. Juggling! My boy! Ow. Stop! 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 Oh my gosh, you're going to drop him! Then you'd best do your duty before I break your toy. Go find yourself one of those filthy golden... Mother truckers, and bring, come back quick. Zephros, are you okay? Obviously, that's a really stupid question, because obviously you're not, but... Oh yeah, I'm okay. I'm a little dizzy and more terrified than I've ever been in my life, probably. But yeah, I'm fine. Okay, right. This is just like when you were buried under rubble, right? I'll just save you, like I did last time. No problem. Okay, I'll just... Okay. <laughs> Have fun. Well, then. I'm gonna talk to your best friend, Cho. <laughs> then again, Amesia probably would take your side. Just a little longer. Just a little longer. I want to just get in here. Amesia! Oh, Cho, it's just having fun. Don't worry about her. I am worried, though. I guess that's your loss, then. See, I knew she wouldn't do anything. Gallic. Something got in your way. Why not relax for a moment with an extremely thick book? Why the long face, sister? Well, now we know. Can I take something? No, I can't. Well, then, I think that's all I'm gonna do right now. But, yeah, okay, so clowns. Bad. Always bad. Sweet, good. And we have to get rid of a yellow blood. We've got two choices, in my mind, because there's three. But, uh, I doubt we'd be able to convince Cooperum. 
who like is so dang wanting to be on a battleship. And I'm sure if we just like find a way around it, I'm sure Sarava will help us out with something. Like if we can just take his their eye patch, that'd be great. Anyway, that's all I can think about right now. I'm gonna end this off here. Uh, I'll see you guys all in the next episode of uh, Hive Swap Act 2. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. See you all next time. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey there. Consider becoming a patron, just like the phenomenal Bleed Red, Alexander Madeline, Uranium Coffee, and Ryan Nelson.